In this video, we provide the solution to question number 13 for practice exam number one for math 1030, in which case we're given the, the graph K4. It's a weighted complete graph, and we need to solve the associated traveling salesman problem using the brute force algorithm. Now, because it's K4, uh, we can start all of our vertices at A, or, or all of our circuits at A. And so it turns out there's only six possibilities, uh, which isn't so bad. But honestly, uh, each of the possibilities if reverse gives a different possibility. So there's really only three options that we have to worry about. So this one, brute force isn't so bad. We just have three options we have to do. So one option is just to go around the whole thing, A, B, C, D, A, like so. So we get A, B, C, D, and A. Of course, if you reverse that process, uh, so I went around clockwise, you could also go clockwise, counterclockwise. That's a second option. I'm not going to list that one, though. So that would cost 48 plus 32 plus 18 plus 22, which is then $120. So that's the number to beat right now. Uh, another option is we could go from A to B, then we go to D, then we go to C, then we go to A, like so. Uh, so we could go from A to B to D to C to A, right? You could also do that backwards if you wanted to. So you could go from A to C to D to B to A. That's, that's the same thing there. Um, if you do that one, you're going to get a cost of 48 to go to, go to B. Then you're going to get a cost of 20 to go to D then 18 to go to C, and then 28 to go back to A. That's gonna cost 114, so that one's a little bit better. Uh, so the last option is instead of going to B first, we could go to um, C first. So you go from A to C, and then from here, um, we don't want to do we don't want to do like this one backwards because if you did A to C to D to B to A that's the same thing backwards there so we actually want to go from we want to go from A to C to B to D to A so that's the one we're going to be looking for right there so if you go from A to C to B to D to A or going backwards gives you the same thing here um, in this case you get A to C which is twenty eight dollars um, you go from C to B which is thirty two dollars. You could go from B to D, which is $20, and you can go from D to A, which is $22, like so. If you add those up, you end up with a total of $102, and so that actually is the optimal tour on this complete graph, and so that would give us the final answer. Uh, the, the, the tour that I have currently drawn on the board is the optimal tour, and it'll cost $102 to transverse that one.